Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda Quintana here. I bet you're shocked that I'm going live exactly at 10 o'clock. I think I am even shocked that I am on time today. Um, this week, we've been having a lot of work done on our house. And um, so I just went out and I talked to um, the guys that are working on our house today and just said, hey, I'm going live for the next hour. Let me know if you need anything right now so that I can take care of it. And uh, so I, um, I'm surprised, but I am happy to be here. And um, they, they are working on a section of the house and there's um, a bush right in front of kind of the side of that section. And there is a robin's nest in that bush. And that poor, stressed out mama robin, we have had nothing like for the past week and a half. There's been like just constant stuff going on. I am i don't even know if those poor little eggs will hatch. And I feel really bad that we've disrupted her her um, house and her little nest in our, our bush. But there was just nothing for it. We had to do this work now. So anyway i'm so glad that you're all here this morning good morning verb blue from tennessee and Birgit from germany marty from pittsburgh um and lacy hi lacy from mississippi uh it seems like everyone is hot and humid this morning huh um and Birgit says she already loves my project today and i you've just seen a little photo and I'll, I'll show you more in a second hello pat um hello diane from wisconsin and connie from denmark we've got like people from all around the world and jean from oregon good morning good morning everyone well today's project you may have already seen the photo is this cute little slider box and i think it is just adorable and i don't know if i can do it justice right now because the little nuggets are going to fall out but it's this little slider box and it holds snugly for hershey's nuggets and i guess this is kind of appropriate maybe i should have turned my little bird into a robin because that's my poor little robin out front is the one that's uh, getting her um her nest disrupted um we are having this morning this a little section of our roof redone and i just said to those roofers out there hey could you like just be really careful that you don't drop stuff on the nest because you know they just kind of lay stuff down and it it falls down <laughs> and um our other contractor who's here just put like a piece of um kind of something to cover up that bush while they are doing the roofing so i hope hope the little nest is okay but if not i'll have to build her a hershey's nugget house uh to put her little eggs in i ugh, i hate disrupting nature um good morning janine from indiana and diana from north carolina and i will talk to you all at the end if you have any questions for me or comments along the way please do it i hate to get distracted during the video all right, I will also have a project sheet for you. I've started, I haven't quite finished it yet. This will get mailed out on Saturday and it has a supply list, instructions, and I will include a diagram with this one because this um, birdhouse comes together in three pieces. So I know you will wanna see the score and cut diagram. So just to make it really quick and easy to put together. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, I do have a host code going this month um, just for a few more days because we're almost at the end of July. So if you spend $50 with me using this host code in July, you'll get a package of the iridescent rhinestone jewels and I'm using them on my birdhouse today. And look, my package is almost done. They come with small, medium and large. I've finished up all my medium. I need to reorder this too because I just go through a lot of them. They're my favorite embellishment. Um, also, we just have a few more days left of earning bonus day coupons and you can earn a $5 coupon for every $50 you spend in July 2023 and you use those coupons in August. Okay, I am going to get rid of that and I'm going to switch to my other camera so I can better show you my project. All right. And sorry for the sunshine on my desk. I am getting blinds. I, I, they did come in. I just have to get them an install date for them. And once I have those, I'll be able to um, 
mitigate the sunshine that's coming on my desk. It's a new place. So, okay, just a couple of things. Um, I use the bird's eye view for this little guy down here, the smallest little guy. Um, I'm also on the inside. I wanna show you this. Let me open this up. So it holds the four little nuggets. Oops, and I didn't glue this in, um, but I put a little greeting in here and you can glue this right in but I haven't yet. So you can glue that down there. You can do a little greeting there. And I used ah, circle sayings, um, because you're awesome. Uh, you could do, you know, a happy birthday. You could do a warm hello or whatever greeting that you want to put in there. You can put on the inside. You could put it on the bottom. You could also put it on the back of your little house. So, you know, you've got options and see, this is how it kind of comes together. This is the, the slider portion. And I think most of you, um, the, the roof part is probably how, how did I put that all together? That's probably how, what you're thinking. How did, how did she do that? So um, those little nuggets, I just wrap them and then they just slide in like that. It's kind of a snug little, cute little, little box. Okay, and then I also just use the stylus shape dies. I use the second smallest circle for this. Um, you could also use like a small circle punch. Um, let me just grab my ruler so that I can measure the size. So this little circle is about one and a quarter inches across. So you'll want a circle around that size. I do like the stylus shape dies because they have that stitching around the edge, which adds like a little bit of detail that always adds to your project. You know, you can you can make things very simply, but that little detail is is really nice. Oh, and I should talk about before I put them too far away. Um, the glorious gingham paper. It's one of my favorite papers right now because I like there's a gingham pattern and then there's a kind of a diagonal uh, gingham pattern. So um, and you get I think it's you get eight sheets of each color: pecan pie, berry burst, uh, peacock. What is it? Pretty peacock lemon lime twist and blueberry blueberry bushel so you could make this in different colors as well i just went very traditional and then i did a little bluebird for the front so i'll be using that this is a nice six by six pack just great colors on, on great patterns and i like that you get eight of each so if you're making things in bulk you, you can make a lot of them at one point at one time all right, let's get started. We're gonna start off by making the slider box and I'm going to just grab my scoring board because I like to use my scoring board. And we have a piece of pecan pie paper right here and it measures four and a quarter inches by three and five eighths. And we are going to score this at the one and one eighth inch mark on all four sides. One and one eighth. So all four sides have the same score measure. Make sure you do one and one eighth and not one because otherwise you will be off. Um, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to cut this on my trimmer because I like nice straight lines, but you can also turn the short side towards you and just cut here and here with scissors, turn it, and then cut here and here with scissors. You can do that as well. I'm just gonna line this up. I'm lining up my groove, like my scored right here, and I'm keeping this up and I'm just gonna cut along the score lines here, lift this up, bring this down, we're just cutting up until, I think I did that one a little shallow. We're just cutting up until that first score intersection like that. And we'll turn this and we'll do the same thing. You could also line this up with a one and one eighths inch mark, but it's easier at this point just to find your groove and line it up or find the score line and line it up with your groove. And then I'll just do this really quick. Once I, um, 
Once you know how to do this, it's actually quicker than using scissors and it is definitely straighter. So you've got these little pieces. Now a little trick, I'm not gonna put my trimmer too far away. Let's fold these along the score lines. So I'll just do this. And this, and this, and this. So one thing when you're coming, when you're bringing these together, okay, this one's pretty good. Sometimes you'll have a little bit sticking out and it's like too much, like it's about a 16th of an inch. Let's check this side. This side, as okay, is doing that just a little bit. You can see it's sticking out just a teeny tiny bit. If you want to, okay, this is the side right here that I want to cut because it's sticking up too far. So you can just put this on your trimmer and just take a teeny tiny bit of a slice off. Okay, just like a tiny sliver. And then when you bring this together, I, f I flipped this, this is the side that I was doing before. When you bring this together now, it's not going to have that overlap. I think that's that's pretty good. On the other side it worked out pretty good so I don't need to trim off but if it did I just I, I mark it with my finger this is the side I want to trim and then okay I know I have to trim on this side and then you just take off a teeny tiny sliver. That's just a little finishing trick. It doesn't matter really if it sticks out a little bit but it's nice to have a nice smooth side there and the reason I bring these guys to this side is because you're going to be pushing and pulling on this side so if you have a bit more cardstock on this side it makes it a little bit more solid for pushing because if we had cut into the other side then the tabs would be on on here so you know you can you can decide how you want to do it but I I like cutting into the shorter side Okay, so to bring this together, I'm just gonna put Tombow on all four corners. I like to live dangerously and do all the gluing in one shot. And then I just start bringing in the corners. You wanna make sure you line up really nicely I probably could have cut that other side. Probably would have made for a nicer fold. But it's pretty good. Probably should have just brought it in a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna bring this one in, this one in, and this one. Oh yeah, this side is really a bit, see how that kind of came up a little bit? I really want to cut it, taper it. It's hard to do with scissors afterwards, so I probably should have checked both sides to make sure that they were coming together um, nicely. So taking off the sliver off the other side probably would have helped a bit, but it's not too bad. You can see it's, I mean, it's livable, but um, it's nicer if you can have like a, a smoother edge along there. Okay, live and learn, correct? I'll just tell you, I, I ran out of Hershey's nuggets. So I don't have enough to do a full second box, but I'll just show you real quick how I wrap the nuggets. So I took some more of that paper and I'm gonna use this side because I'm using this side, which I think makes for a nicer looking roof shingle with the diagonals. And I'm gonna use this side to wrap. So you can sometimes like I curl the paper a bit, it helps, you know, getting around the edge or you can just lay it flat and kind of curl it around with your fingers. And I just, I wrap it. And the main part, this is, oh, I should tell you what size this is. This is a three by one inch piece of paper. So it's perfect. You can get um, an even number out of a piece of six by six. So just cut them three by one. It's the perfect size to wrap your nuggets. And there's just a little bit of overlap right there. So I'm gonna, you can use um, Tarrant Tape or our other dry runner adhesive 
but I'm just going to put a teeny, like very, very little adhesive, like just a teeny tiny glue always holds better than almost any other adhesive. And then that's what you do. You just wrap your nuggets. And for this box, I did one in each of the remaining colors. So they're, you know, they're all, um, I've got blueberry bushel, pretty peacock, lemon lime twist and berry burst. And then you just pop them in there. Okay, well that box is done, but you would do four. Four would fit nicely. I don't know what other candy would fit in here. I really specifically designed this for Hershey's Nuggets, but you know, you can experiment and see what else fits into that little, little area. Okay, so that's the slider portion. And now we're going to build the, the roof. The, sorry, not the roof. We're gonna build this front. There's a piece that runs from front, bottom, and then back. Okay, so that's the piece we're gonna build next. Bring in our scoring board again. All right. And um, this time we're building the frame and this one measures five and five eighths by two inches. We're gonna score this at the two and one eighths inch mark. And let me find my other measurements three and a half. I think that's right. Two and a half. Oh, sorry. Two and one eighths and three and a half. Yes. I'm eyeballing it. Um, when I originally did it, I did a two and a half, two and one eighths on either each side. And then this morning I had to calculate it so I didn't have to flip it. So, oh, we need our scoring board again. Don't go away. So there's a couple ways that you can do the marking up because we need to create a triangle at the boat at the top we're creating this triangle right here there's a couple of ways you can go about that so one way is you need to mark um, one inch so I'm just doing a little divot here that's one inch down you do one inch down on that side and then one inch down on this side so I'm just, you can do this with pencil marks or you can do this with your um, stylus tool on the scoring board, but one inch in, one inch down and one inch down. So an inch, an inch, an inch at the top. And then you're going to use your, I've darkened the score groove with a Sharpie because I use it for lining up just at my six inch mark because I use the six inch mark for a lot of things. It's the middle mark. So you can just take a Sharpie, make this dark, and then you'll, you can line things up on it really easily. So then you can take your um, marks and just line up and score. Okay, so we're creating that peak. And um, oops, don't shift your cardstock as you're scoring. Let me make sure I got that back on the groove. Okay, so that's what that looks like. That is one way to do it. You have to do this on both ends. I'm going to show you a different way in case you don't like doing those little divots. So I cut myself a little square actually this was a square to start off and it was about an inch by an inch and I cut it just a sliver less than an inch by an inch probably about like 15 sixteenths by 15 sixteenths the reason I did it is that way I can draw the pencil line right along there so then this is another way you take it that um that square that's 15 sixteenths by 15 sixteenths and you cut it on the diagonal, okay? So now you've got half of that square, and then you can just put that up at the top and use it as a template. And if you put this right in the corner right here with the triangle right in the corner right there, you can use it as a template with your pencil. And you can draw your line. Then you can turn it and Put this in the corner again and draw the line again and so now you've got 
lines that you can score on, which is a little easier, I think, than doing um, doing it this way where you have to measure each time. Once you've got that perfect template, you can just use it and, and do it over and over again. And it, you don't have to think about the measurements then. So either way you can, can do that. Okay. Let's bring this in and we can just um, fold this along the score line and then fold and fold and fold and fold. This is what your, your roof, or not your roof, this is what the front, bottom, back, and this is the structure up top here that is gonna hold your roof in place. Okay, now we're gonna create the roof. You're gonna need two pieces, and you could actually do this just out of cardstock if you wished, but I wanna add designer series paper so it's easier to do this in one step rather than adding it afterwards. So we're gonna take two pieces. This measures two and three quarters by one and three eighths, two and three quarters by one and three eighths. Both of them are the same. And we'll take our glue and we'll just do it. You know, I'm just doing a light gluing, but I, I want it to be glued down all the way. So it's just a tiny bit of glue, but I'm getting it all over the place. And then you're going to line the two of those up on top of each other. So they're stacked. Press down. Bring back in your scoring board just for a moment. We'll throw the long side up there and we're gonna score at the one and three eighths inch mark. We're gonna score both of those at the same time because they're glued together. You can see it goes all the way through to the back. And then you can fold along the score line and then you don't have to glue a separate piece on afterwards. Um, I, I wanna say if you were gonna emboss this top layer, you could do the same thing. Um, I would still suggest to you that you have an underlay, like a flat piece, rather than just doing an emboss piece, because embossing is a bumpy, and you wanna have a good, like a smooth to smooth surface, because these are the four contact points for your, your roof. Okay, so we're gonna start off with one end, and we're just putting glue on the triangles like this. So this is gonna come over here and we're gonna glue on here. So the one thing you wanna make sure of is you see how this one is like this, the point right here. We're, we're running the line of the, the roof is right there. It's like that score bend. They're running right along the edge. And you wanna make sure you have a nice point at the top that that cardstock, whoops, put that in. That cardstock goes pretty close to the top. And then you're gonna press, you can see on this back side, whoop, get some light going there. You're just gonna press on those triangles and make sure that they're sticking down really well before you move on to the other side. Okay, I think that's good. And there's that first part of the roof. And then we're gonna do the other side. I'll put glue on both of these triangles. If you ever get too much glue, like this glue is at the end of its life, <laughs> so it's not coming out in big globs, but sometimes I have it such that it's like a big glob just because of it's a newer bottle. I'll just take another piece of cardstock and I'll just scrape off the extra glue and then toss that extra piece of cardstock into the garbage. Um, but this right now I think is about the perfect amount of glue. So I'm kind of going in from the side with my thumbs and kind of maneuvering this 
and pinching down. You can really feel with your fingers where those triangle tabs are and you can kind of just push down. Again, just make sure you're lining up fairly nicely on, on those edges so that you have a nice looking roof. The other reason you want to do that is because you want your slider box to be able to fit into that hole. So if you're too, too, if this is too far in, you're not, your slider box might not work as nicely. And if it's too far out, it's going to be loosey goosey. So then once that's done, you just slide your box into the hole. And there you are, you are done that portion. So then you're going to take a circle. I cut, I pre-cut this on my die cutting machine. You're gonna, I told you the measurements earlier. Let me double check what it is. It was one and a quarter. So it's the second smallest um, stylus shapes. Where are you guys? It's this one right here. I just ran that through with the second smallest in the die cutting machine gonna grab our little bird oh and we're gonna do one more stamping we're going to grab the bird the smallest bird and we're just gonna center him or her on there this is supposed to look like the entrance to the birdhouse and then we can take actually I didn't put this on my supply list and I don't know where my oh there it is I'm gonna take pecan pie and this greeting from the circle saying stamp set and you could do like this as a thank you but I like because you're awesome you can just stamp this this piece right here this is for the bottom of the birdhouse this um, you would start off with two inches by one and three eighths and make it just a teeny tiny bit smaller on both sides so that because the bottom of this is two inches by one and three eighths so you could squeeze it in there if it was big and it would kind of be really tight at the bottom but if you just want it to kind of go down easily then you just um, do it just slightly under and what I would do is I would put glue down at the bottom of this and then pop it in there and then press down with my fingers and then that will stay at the bottom will be cute little once someone's finished the nuggets they'll be able to see the little message underneath um, of course you can always put a greeting on the back as well so you've got options all right we are going to use boho blue and these are my pumpkin pie blends I went with boho blue. I actually did this. I don't know if I can pull it out of my garbage. It's oh, here it is. I actually started off doing this with blueberry bushel. Okay, I lost a little bit of detail on when I did it with blueberry bushel. That was the blueberry bushel light and the pumpkin pie dark. And I felt like it was just a little tiny bit too dark because you couldn't really, the, the features of the face got drowned out by the intensity of the blue so instead of using blueberry bushel i went with boho blue and the light the light boho blue and the light pumpkin pie so just just so you know so to do this i started off um and i label my blends sorry um my blends have labels um if you want a copy of my label sheet just look below in the description of this video and you can get um, my labels I, I print them out on basic white cardstock and I use a 3 8 inch circle punch to punch them out and um, I one of my um, lids got um, damaged so I borrowed a lid from a dead Stampin' Blends because this blend is still good but it looks not so great but this is actually an orange blend um, okay so I digress. We're going to do light anyway. This is light pumpkin pie. I'm just going to color the chest area with the light. And I'm going to come in with my um, light boho blue. So I'm going to be careful not to touch that pumpkin pie too much. 
I should have done it afterwards. It's still a little wet, so it could blend a little bit. And I'm just going to come along, avoid the beak. Boho blue is such a beautiful color. And I'll come in with my pumpkin pie dark and just hit that beak. And then boho blue dark. And what I'll do is I'm going to hit these, I guess they would be feathers with the dark. And then come back in and blend with the boho blue light. This is such a small bird. It just takes a few seconds to color. There. It's all done. Very easy peasy, right? Decide which side is the front of your box. I think I like this side better. And then you just put glue. And just add some glue. Just kind of center it. Press down like that. And then I tied a baker's twine bow early. You can use a different color if you wish. I just think white will go with all the colors of that glorious gingham. So um, this one is from the baker's twine essentials pack, which has white, black, uh, crumb cake, and vanilla, and a gray. So I'm just using a tiny dot of, of a Tombow to hold that down. So cute, right? And then, where did my rhinestones go? They are somewhere here. All right, rhinestones must be added. Not rhinestones, these are, yeah, they're iridescent rhinestones. Okay, so we'll just pop a few on here just to give it a little bit of bling. I have a lot more of the smaller ones. And the reason why is I usually use a small, medium, large, and it comes with more smalls than any other size. So I have a bunch of smalls left over, so I'm going to try and use them. So that's what it looks like. Just a super cute, cute box. If you remember earlier this week, I just, just got this stamp set bird's eye view, and I made a card, which I have buried under a bunch of stuff, I'm sure. Where did my card go? It's under, probably under my trimmer. Aha, here it is. So earlier this week, I made this card. So, you know, you could do this as a little combo. Um, you could turn this into a happy birthday. And then this little guy could be a little birthday gift on the side. So um, you can have fun with that. I just, I, I don't know, whenever I get a new step that I kind of fall in love with it and I, I play with it. So that would be kind of cute little combo right there. All right, I am going to come back over to you guys and see if you have any questions for me. Um, just a little reminder, if you are not already a subscriber to my channel, um, go ahead and subscribe if you liked my video and um, su um, subscribe. And then if you hit the bell, you can be notified when I go live in the future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below um, that um, helps um, more people see my work and I would really appreciate that. If you want to place an order, don't forget to use the host code. And if you spend $50 with me, you're going to get a package of these um, jewels that I used um, today. You'll get a full package, not my uh, used package. Um, and those will be mailed out in August. And um, what else can I say? Oh, the bonus days is still going on. So don't forget, if you spend $50, you'll also get a $5 coupon. And the bon you can only earn one gift from me per month, but the bonus day coupons, um, it's for every $50 you spend on an order, you'll get a $5 coupon. So, um, and those will be uh, available to use in August. Okay, let's, I'm gonna go back. I already said hello to a bunch of you at the beginning, but let's go. Let's go back to the beginning and say hello. I think I left off with Diana, saying hello to her. Hello, Cindy from Everett, Washington. Um, Diane said, um, will I leave a copy of my 
would love she would love a copy of my directions so diane if you are on my email list or if you're not on my email list just look below in um the the what you call it the um the down below where the description of the video is that's where you'll find a link to subscribe to my email list and that is how you're going to get the project sheet and i send the project sheet out on saturday it's not quite done yet usually on fridays i'm still kind of tweaking things and on fridays is when i get my youtube link and i put it in so all the information is on the project sheet so that's why i send it out on saturday but if you're on my email list um, you will get a copy of that and the good news is is if you've missed back copies of my project sheets if you are a subscriber you also have access to my back copies of I don't know how many years I've been doing this project sheet thing for a few years so you can get back copies for all of those project sheets as well um, good morning Carla from the Netherlands nice to see you here um, Marty says so cute Diana says love it um, Carla says she also loves those glorious gingham papers. I, I am such a, a weirdo when it comes to papers. I, um, I do like bright patterns and because I do a lot of, um, I've got sunshine on my face, um, before, because I do a lot of 3d things, I like the same pattern, um, used over again in different colors because it makes a nice grouping like i could have made this one in all the five colors wouldn't that have been a really cute picture if i had had more time last night you can bet that i would have made one in every single color because they would look so cute lined up in all the different colors in fact if you're doing this for an organization or for an event or for your friends or for people coming over, I would suggest doing them in at least three different colors because they play off each other and look very nice on a display. Um, usually I try and do that and um, create that little kind of display for you so you can see how they play off each other, but that's what I always suggest. And that glorious gingham paper is exactly what you need to do that um hello joan from minnesota jean says she loves this design would it be difficult to upsize to one that holds a gift card with chocolates hint hint um you know what it's you have to play with the dimensions a bit but i will tell you if you do a search i have done a box that was the same type of construction it was um a dog house um and um let me see if I can find it in the background while I'm talking to you so I can tell you exactly. Let's go in here what the name of the project is because sometimes that's half the battle because um, I've done different things over time. Okay, so look for my doghouse gift box. Doghouse gift box. Now that was able to hold um, a snack bag. I used mini nila wafers in that in like the individual portions um and um so that one was i did that in 2021 uh, april of 2021 so there is a project sheet for that okay i lost my comments where did i stick you aha there we go so there is a larger size um i size i made this one smaller um to hold um, this one's quite a bit smaller just to hold the hershey's nuggets because i thought we needed a different size and i thought people will have forgotten now that one um the the top um the little triangles overlapped so it was just a little bit different um, if you do that one i would suggest watching the video on how to bring the um the top together hello suzette glad you're here hello pam from north carolina hello laura um she says better late than missing the whole live well i'm glad you joined us laura i hope you're having a good day um hello mary from kansas city um uh, mary asked would high shoes fit i think so um I have never bought high chews before. So what I would maybe do is, um, you know what, what I can tell you real quick. Okay, so the length of this box here is two inches. 
the side of this box is one and three eighths. And then you've got about one and one eighths. You don't wanna go above the roof line with stuff because, let me push this out, um, because otherwise it's not gonna slide out. So you wanna stay within this two inch, one, th one three eighths, two inch, and then one and one eighths inch um, parameter. But what I would do, best thing to do is just to make the slider part and anything that fits flat that's level will should be fine to fit in there so just experiment because i don't have that particular candy with me hi joan hello Stuart. you've got the heat and humidity like i think a great portion of the u.s maybe except for the west um but a lot of people are experiencing a lot of humidity and Massachusetts and New Hampshire aren't known for for their humidity. Well, I shouldn't say the humidity. It's the heat, the combination between the heat and the humidity that is is really, I think, unusual for here, at least since we moved here about nine years ago. Hello, Nalita. Glad you're here. Sandy says, very cute. Pat said, um, by the way, um, you make him look good and he does give you credit. I have, I don't know what you're talking about, Pat. Um, what you're um, talking about. Oh. Um, I don't know. You'll have to explain, Pat. I, I'm not sure what you meant by your, your comment. Sorry. Um, hello, Janine. Um, Pat says, this is perfect once again. I make 100 approximately each year. Oh, for Mr. Robinson's work oh wow that's awesome uh since he's uh, been boss i've made your 3d projects each holiday for him oh wow that's awesome i it makes me so happy when people use my project um for their their organizations and stuff that's awesome um Fergie says those tiny houses are so cute. Thank you. Pat says we make a sign for each holiday. 3D project idea from YouTuber Brenda Quintana and copied by Bling Bling Crafter. Thank you, Pat. That's so sweet of you. Um, Mary asks, why does your pumpkin buy buy blend have a green cap on it? I answered that earlier. Um, I actually um, dropped my cap and stepped on it. And I happen to have a um, uh, a green colored blends that had recently re I had recently replaced and I pulled it out of the garbage and used it as my replacement cap so um, yes you know because the pumpkin pie blend still had life in it I wasn't going to throw it out you know I don't believe in just throwing things out just because there's one small defect with them and I had the perfect solution I had an extra cap um, yeah so I, I damaged I damaged the cap so um, that was my replacement. Um, Roberta says, so cute. Jean said this would make a darling Christmas ornament too. Oh yes, I was gonna mention, this would, look at the back side. Doesn't gingerbread house, don't you think? A very cute gingerbread house. I, I don't know how I would decorate it up at this point, but this would make a really cute gingerbread house, I think, or a, a regular house. Or, you know, whatever you want to do with it. If you had like a small um, dog, it could be a, a dog house. You know, there's lots of different options. Um, I was working on birds this week, so it became a bird house. Marty said, a sweet bluebird. Mary said, very cute project. Hello, Monica from Gatineau. So nice that you're here. Um, Marty says, um, the more you use the stamp set, the more I love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just arrived this week, so I'm I'm using it big time. Um, Lacey says, cute project. Um, Monica says she loves this project and she thinks she'll make them with her students for Christmas. Um, change it to a gingerbread house. Yeah, you are already ahead of me. Um, Stuart says this house is so cute. Carla says I like the whole look of the box. Um, someone that has some initials, um, so I, it doesn't really make up a name, but she said it's a sweet box. Cheryl says it's adorable. Mary says she'll give it a thumbs up. Um, Fair Blue says a cute box for any occasion. Laura says I love my 
3D does I love your 3D projects. Um, D Bald says awesome, uh, especially for each place setting. Yes, that would be wonderful. Oh, hi Cynthia from Worcester, Massachusetts. You're in my same state. That's cool. Um, Birgit says she loves the new bird stamp set too. I would love to see more projects with the birds. Well, we'll see. We're we're um, moving into the holiday catalog soon, but uh, I'm glad I got a couple in this week, right? Um, uh, Patricia said would make great gingerbread house. You guys are already anticipating. You know what to do. I make the project and you um, make it better. I I I love the construction part. That that's my favorite part of the whole entire thing, is figuring out the measurements. I know it's a weird thing, but I like to do that. That makes me the happiest. And, you know, I like decorating it too, but not as much as figuring out those dimensions. Um, Mary says, oh, that's good to know about the, um, the back, um, the other project sheets. Um, she will try to print them out. Yes. So when I send out the project sheet, usually, on, on Saturdays on when I send it out look all the way down to the bottom of the email I have a banner that says click here for past project sheets I try and include that because when people sign up for my list I also send them the link but then they subsequently lose that welcome email so I try and include that um, that banner at the bottom of each of my Saturday emails so that you can um, grab that very easily um, let's see uh, Mary said if a person wanted to sell these at a craft fair will we need to put copyright stamp with um, stamp them up name on the bottom um, I can't speak for um, Stampin' Up policy Mary so I think that would be best to call Stampin' Up and say see how they want you to handle that um, I, I know if you're selling stuff you do need to put copyright um, Stampin' Up on there somewhere as to where you need to put that um, that that I think you need to talk to Stampin' Up about to make sure you're following their policy because it's not mine um, Pat said, do you know how many boxes you can make um, out of one um, piece of DSP? So um, you can, the nuggets, if you're wrapping the nuggets, you're going to get 12 um, nugget wrappers out of one sheet, right? Because you're going to have like a one by three piece uh, for each. So that would be 12. And um, in terms of um, so we're going to do two and three quarters by one and three eighths for the roof. So I would say you could get about eight roofs out of one sheet of um, designer series paper. I think if I did my math, no, sorry, six to, yeah, no, well, just hold on two by two so that would be three going that way and then i don't know between six and eight i'm, I'm just trying to do the math right here real quick and i am not 100 percent sure but you one pack is going to get you quite a bit let's see so we do one two three and then one and three eighths this way one so that's almost one and a half so i go one two three four i don't know i'm 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 not doing a good job at my math i'm thinking one two three four and then this one is two two and three quarters oh it would be one two i think it's eight i think it's eight is how many you would um would need um or would get out of for roof pieces so 12 for the wrappers um 12 and then eight for for the roofs i believe all right um jean said she'll check out my doghouse video and of course that doghouse can be turned into whatever as well um mary said on the high shoes they are approximately one and a half by one if you fold the end under so yeah, you probably can get a few of those in there. Um, 
Carla says, off to prepare for dinner. Thanks for your video explanations, Brenda. You're welcome. Laura says, a gingerbread house was what I, I thought you were making since I came late. Well, that's good. I mean, you know, it might be a teeny tiny bit early for gingerbread houses right now. Um, so a birdhouse is good for this time of year, but you make it down the road for whatever you want. Terry said, perfect for a welcome to the neighborhood tree. Yes, that that would be a great one. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like this project. Watch for my project sheet on Saturday. And if you're not already on my email list, um, that's how you will get my project sheets. Um, look for the link down below if you wanna get on there. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you back on um, Tuesdays and Fridays. That's when I do my live videos. Take care everyone, bye-bye.